Welcome to Job Skills Share. And in this section, we have done everything on this computer. Everything is updated. And remember, we are going to talk about how to do imaging from a USB. So in this section, I am going to show you guys how to do imaging from a USB to the USB. So remember, we are we're here. We configured everything now, uh, but we have all these machines to be imaged. So one way is to do it through the USB. So in the past video, we talked about the server settings. You're not doing that right now. So we are going to do first like a basic USB imaging. So then you guys will learn that there, if you don't have server available, you can do it easily from a USB to save all that time that we spend on this computer. It was almost three to four hours by doing all updates and everything, finishing and everything. So that was the main reason we need to do imaging. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is go to this link and I think I showed this video on a Linux system and you guys can see the lines right now um, well because I'm taking this from uh, not from my screencast this is actually a camera video so to make it real so type redo and just do enter redo backup dot org that is something that I was looking for um, the coolest thing about this is that you don't need a software to install on your system. You can just put this ISO, boot this software from the USB, and then you can start backing up the system and restoring the system. It's so easy. So it tells you right there. You download and burn, then restart your PC. Click the backup or to a disk or shared network. You can even put it on a shared network if you don't want to use USB, um, and recover the whole data. Now the version is pretty old but still it works I tested it on this machine uh, before and I'm going to do it right now uh, to do the backup we're not going to do this restore because we know restore is going to work you definitely want to do this in a testing environment don't do this on the real machines um, if you have a testing machine make sure you back the back it up restore it so you get get to know the restore process so as you can see in this computer there's a, a 1 TB hard drive connected to this machine right now and I am going to take a whole backup of this machine and put it in to this TB hard drive, one TB hard drive. So if something happened to this machine or I need to do the imaging from other machines, I can just plug in this USB, turn it up and get the restore and put it on this machine. Now, you need to learn about licensing. If you have a license that you bought for the same machines, the same license, so you can do that. But other than that, you need to learn more about licensing probably you you don't want to you might want to take you want you might want to do everything and not put the license and then image everything and then put the license if it's different licensing so what I'm gonna do right now I am going to plug this USB into this machine so I'm just going to plug it right now okay it's blinking The device is ready to use. Okay, so we got one redo backup.org. The other thing that I'm looking for, go to Google. And I am looking for multi boot. I think that's what it's called, but let me just make sure it's the. Yeah, so if you type multi boot, you would get this U Y U M I. And once you click on that, you'll scroll down it's a portable software very cool software that will turn my USB into a bootable device um, so download click on download and once you start downloading it's an exe file like I said it's portable so you can keep everything in one USB but I have to do it again just for learning purposes so people can see where it's coming from and when I click on it and I'm going to open that right now and I'll say I agree and here you see right here then the USB just that I just put right now was 30 gigs. It's a 30 gig USB. And I need to click on that one. And now if you scroll down, you probably will find the redo backup in this system. So if I scroll down, you can put any system you want to, but we are especially looking for redo backup. And if I go down there, I'll see redo backup tools and recovery right there redo backup and recovery okay you could install this now I don't have a ISO meaning I haven't downloaded but you, there's a download link right there 
When you click on it, it will tell you, okay, let the download finish before moving to the second second step. Say so yes. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna go ahead and try to grab that download right now. And you will see it's going to the link and getting the download from the uh, source for side right now. So you will see the download is started right now, 1.0.4. That's correct one, and it's pretty small, 249 MB. Um, if you have that in your USB, it's nothing. I mean, you can even use one GB USB or 500 MB USB if it's laying down there. You can turn it into like a CD. This is like basically a CD. I could have just installed this ISO and burn it on a CD, but I don't use CD in a CD anymore. I mean, I always put something on a CD and I never find it. So just keep one USB with be with you. You can make this 30 gig of USB like a nice super cool recovery system you can install anything you want from this UMI software that Yumi um, so you can just go there and install a bunch of softwares whatever you need from here uh, you can put Linux in there you can put anything you want to as, as long as your USB can take it you can just put it on there as for your arsenal like a recovery arsenal um, great stuff for anyone IT lab technicians anyone you name it uh, and you can put it down there. You can go through this list, and it will create this USB turning into a nice recovery system. So you have this USB. You can go plug it into any system and try, try troubleshooting it. Uh, turn on the machine and recovery systems in there. Every single thing is in there. So I really like this uh, little piece of software. It's portable, and you can take it with you. As you can see, it gives you servers, Ubuntu, everything related to Ubuntu, Linux, Debian, Fedora every single thing so we're not gonna go through that right now since we're not doing that part we're just waiting for our download to finish up so we can fire up this system and back everything in this and put it on this USB remember remember the whole thing that we're doing this because we want to save time we don't want to sit here and do any more updates on this machine we just have one image master image now from here on we will update this image only next time if I had to after six months I turn this image on again and I update some new software maybe students have new software now we get all those softwares then you make another image but I'm not going to do this with each and every computer that's why imaging is very important and I bet you guys are tired of me saying this but you just have to learn this I mean it's for you to save your time okay so everything is downloaded right now we just need to click on the browse and you will see it right here this is downloaded and now it's green I can go for it um, I will say format F because I don't want anything in this USB right now okay we already picked that uh, step two so I can just go down there just to make sure it's picked so I am going to down right there redo backup and recovery just making sure I pick this one again okay so we will format this correct one make sure you look into this you don't want to format some other USB that's in the computer so then click on create and it'll tell you this message oh it's ready to perform this blah 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 it will format everything you are you sure yes I'm sure and it will start this process right now while this is happening it's pretty quick process as you can see it's going really fast in my USB, the other USB where I'm going to be backing up this whole image, I am going to go inside and uh, probably create a, let me just go to backup, no this is not the backup I want. Uh, let's put it into PCI image. So I'm going to put that image inside this PCI image folder. You can make any other folder if you want to uh, organize your imaging um, so you can do it this way. Now remember that you can this I'm doing this on a single PC. You can do this for on a home computer too. This this can apply anywhere. Imaging it does not have to be just for lab technicians. It, it actually been used by anyone that's in IT. Um, it depends if they have labs. Maybe they work on different type of computers. Uh, even if people don't have labs, they prefer imaging because it saves time. So we're done here. So we're going to say you're done. Click on next. Would you like to add more ISO for now? I'm not gonna say anything, so I'm gonna say no. And I'll say finish. So now what happened? This is my USB, a recovery USB. I shouldn't take it out, but 
I'm in a testing environment anyway. So this is my uh, recovery USB right here. It's pretty cool because now I don't need to install anything on that machine. As long as I have this USB and I have that USB right there where I'm going to be putting my image, I'm good. I put that in a safe place and I can work with this USB without worrying about any software corruption, updating anything. I'm good to go. So all I need to do now, turn off this machine because I know I don't need anything from this machine anymore. I have done everything. This is the major image. This is a master image I want on all of these machines. So now for me, the time is to just back it up. So I will plug it in back again. Okay. And I'm going to restart this machine. There you go. And if there's any other USB connected, you might want to remove it. If you were to reboot this computer from a CD, then you won't be worried about it. But since this USB also have something that can, can just not let you boot, then you might want to take it off. Because I want just to boot that system from that USB right there. So I click F12 on a Dell computer. On HP, you might have something else that can take you to your boot system a list. Like, so you'll see something like internal HDD. Uh, then USB, CD. So if you were using a CD, you would use a CD to boot this system. Or because I made a USB right now, I am going to use my USB storage device. And as you can see, the that software that we were talking about is right here. Now, if you had any other ISOs downloaded and everything, everything will be right here, like a Linux system, Ubuntu system. Everything will be in this section. Uh, so as you can see how powerful this is. Now I can plug in my... USB just to make sure when I do my imaging it recognize it okay lights just came up all right so I'm going to pick the system tools and here it is the redo backup live CD I make sure my USB is plugged in okay it's plugged in all right, so I am going to go ahead and select Redo Backup Live CD. Okay, here's a little troubleshooting. Um, so if you plug in this USB and then you, you click on the Redo Backup and you see like something black, nothing is, you don't see anything, you might want to remove that USB and then just turn it on from a USB. As you can see, when I click on Redo Backup without connecting that USB, uh, that's where the problem started. I couldn't see anything. But now I'm going to plug in my USB since it's trying to connect now. All right, as you can see, you have two options. Very basic stuff. This is pretty cool because you get don't get confusion in there. You see backup and you see restore. The option that we want right now is backup. All you need to do is to click on this backup and it will say identify disk drives. And you can see right here, this is 400. This is a drive that we want to back up. Um, and then it picked up my other USB while this was rebooting. Uh, I plugged in my 1TB USB, which is right here. This 931 GB. I'm not touching that right now. This is what I need. I need this one, Windows 7, with 440, uh, 40, 44, 454 GB. Um, and it will only get the amount of data that's in there for like um, the um, Windows 7 data so it's going to be around like 20 GB backup um, file so what we need to do right now is we need to click on next and I'm going to get everything from here because when you do re restore you just want to get the same stuff on this hard drive so as you can see I have a recovery for Windows 7 then I have a part disk 3 which is my uh, NTFS uh, drive and another one is unknown which is basically I kind of left it that way um, now I just need to do this so now it says connected directly to my computer yes it is if it was on the share folder you wouldn't even need this um, but since I want to keep it just very basic I have a TB uh, one, one, uh, hundred, uh, one TB hard drive right there 
and here you will see which destination where this is the destination right here and then you click next after this And then you can say click browse to select or create folder. I'm just going to click browse here. Uh, and remember, I wanted this in under the PCI image. I'm just going to click on that and then say save here. So make sure it's double click. Yes. And now I'm going to say save here. So it sees right here, you see the PCI image just came up and click next. And then what name, you can change the name if you want to. I'm just going to keep it the same. Click Next. And then it will tell you the system started to do the imaging part right there. So the first one went pretty quick. The second one will take a little few minutes. And the third one will take a little bit more. So it's about, it will take about 20 to 25 minutes or maybe 15 minutes sometimes. But as you can see, this is way faster process when, it, when you back up and you restore it almost the same amount of minutes, like 15 to 20 minutes. Um, in real world, you just take the same, uh, same uh, hard drive, the USB, plug it into a different machine that you have, and then you would just spend 15 minutes on that machine and you have everything up. Um, other examples, this computer is having an issue and you wanna redo this again, you plug this in, you have this 15 minutes amount of time and then you already have the data, like desktop documents and everything and you plug it into this machine and you have everything in 20 minutes. That's the benefit of imaging. This was just a basic imaging from a USB. In next video, which is going to be a separate video, I am going to show you guys how to do imaging from a server. So we are done with the USB part and now we are going to install server in next video and how to do uh, imaging put everything on this server and then this server will shoot out client shoot out images to all these clients at once That's what we're gonna do in next video. Thank you for watching jobskillshare.com Hopefully you guys learned something from it. See you guys